Hello, my wonderful YouTube friends. I just got the most beautiful box delivered. And this is something I have been waiting on since the middle of April. It is, throw that, I've been trying to remove all the fuzz. My Teddy Bees box. So this is my first time with Teddy Bees. And it was delivered just now. Today is Saturday the 10th. And I am so excited. I've seen people, you know, posting things about, you know, in their halls or their melting boxes or whatever with Teddy Bees. And I'm like, oh, I just want my box to come. So let me just scooch you a little bit. Anyway, so it has come. I've been sitting outside reading a book. Um, if any of you have Hallmark and you've seen the series um, Murder, She Baked, I am like on book 16, 17, 18, something like that. Anyway, they're so good. I highly recommend the books. I love them. They're a very easy read. Um, they're not really long. Um, and I always like finding out who, who killed who. And, you know, and it's always Hannah who seems to find the dead bodies. And it makes me want to open a store called The Cookie Jar. Anyway, okay, let's get started. Enough about books. So she sends this cute little card, and I love these like square little cards. They're always fun. It, and it just gives her YouTube group, I mean, sorry, her Facebook group, um, and then her emails and, and that kind of stuff. So I have my handy dandy soda. Earlier it was coffee. Now it's soda. Um, and let's get started. So, um, I think I kind of ordered a selection. Uh, let's see. I don't see a receipt. Of course I'm filming on my, my phone. Um, I don't, but I ordered, what are they? Chunk bags or whatever they're called. Loaves and souffles. So that's what I have in here. From what I can tell, I have two samples. I don't know if there's more on um, the, the boxes. Here, I'll show you the inside of the box. It's not like really full. Um, and it's heavy. Oops. Hit my camera. All right, let's get started. So the two samples, I've left them in the box and it kind of takes up my table. First one is Balsam Beach. And actually, it's kind of a good time for this. I need to just scoot my fan ever so slightly. <gasps> Micah! My mic. That was mommy. My mic. Ah, oh, the joy of a Connie Corso. All right. Vanilla balsam, ocean driftwood with a touch of sea salt. Oh, see, and I think this one will be really good for like heading into maybe october because of the balsam. Let's see. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, I can't pop it out, but I think I really like vanilla balsam. I think this will be good for the holidays. Oh, that's lovely. Lovely, lovely. I will be saving that. The next one is pink toasted marshmallow, which is pink sugar blended with toasted marshmallow. Now, I'm not a huge toasted marshmallow person, but let's see what we got. Yeah, I just smell toasted marshmallow. I'm not a big toasted marshmallow person, but... I'll warm it. We'll see what we what we come up with. If there's more samples in there, I'll dig them out eventually. All right. Gosh, I just don't even know where to start. I'm just, I am so beyond excited for this order. I don't even have enough counter space. One day I'll have to show you the, the obscene. So I have two Alex drawers. Uh, Ikea Alex drawers on the side and then uh, an Ikea table. So it's not, you know, real big. I have my computer here, my makeup's right there. Um, and then I have my melting basket and my fan and stuff. So I don't have a whole lot of space. So I'm a little sweaty. I don't ever put my face in the sun, but I still get kind of red and sweaty. I have too much uh, scarring on my face from the sun. So I'm trying to be better about that. All right, so first one. Oh, I forget which side the camera's on. Surfside Sweet Shop. Birthday cake, marshmallow cream, butter cookies, cake batter, 
beach treats, which is beach nights. So I don't know what beach nights is. So I did take a chance on, on a lot of these. Now remember, I ordered these in, what was it, like mid to end of April. And that was that was the first month I was actually delving into um, vendor wax. And so I think I just kind of ordered a lot of stuff just to try it out and see what I thought. Um, some of the stuff, it's because you guys had recommended it in the group. Obviously, since I placed this order, I have ordered and received a lot of wax. So we'll see how it goes. I'm stoked. I'm absolutely stoked. All right. That's what the top looks like. It's really pretty. I'm not a crystal or a sparkly person. So Beach Night seems like it has the kind of like a perfuminess to it. It smells good. Oh, that's nice. She puts the pour date, 5-8. I think I'm good to melt this. So excited. Okay, so I'm smelling almost like copper tony sunscreeny but see sunscreen actually has a specific scent it's the suntan oil that has that different scent oh, that's really good but see i don't think i'm smelling the marshmallow the butter cookies or the birthday cake i think i'm really smelling the beach treats because that's sorry are you guys straight i don't know if you're straight anyway because that's a new scent to me next one so i got this one based on recommendations now i wasn't going to do it because i know my limitations it's sundresses and lemonade and i only got a souffle of it it's fresh ozone and air roses jasmine lavender vanilla melon sugared lemon and fizzy twist the only thing in here that's really me is the sugar lemon and the fizzy twist but you guys raved about this scent for so long that I was like, all right, I'll get a, I'll get a souffle and we'll give it a go. Okay, it's laundry. Is that what it's supposed to smell like, is laundry? Is that the jasmine that I'm smelling then? I don't know, to me it smells like laundry. It's nice, but honestly it smells like laundry. I don't, I don't get, any sugared lemon or anything. Anyway, we'll give that a go. The next one, blackberry butter pecan cookies. This one looks pretty. Butter pecan waffles, blackberry jam, and butter cookies. And I have certainly grown to love blackberry jam. And that's what it smells like to me. That one's pretty. Isn't that beautiful? It's almost like a... It doesn't look cream. It almost looks like it has a little bit of a, like a green hint to it. And then the sparkles is pretty. As you know, I smell better in the bag. Oh, this one's a newer pour, 614, but it's still, you know, out there to where I could probably warm it. Okay, I just smell the butter pecan waffles. I smell a hint of the pecan, I think. Yeah. Oh, that's really nice. That's a new scent for me. I, I don't I don't think I have anything like that. So that's nice. I like it. All right. This one. I was taking a chance on this one too. Cindy Lou does Paris. And it's Lula Bell, Sweet on Paris, and Frosted Pine. So I love pine scents. I don't really know what Lula Bell is. And I love Sweet on Paris. So I thought this could be maybe a holiday scent too. Okay, so, hmm. Okay, I smelled the pine on that last hint, uh, sniff. But it almost smelled like this was kind of a laundry one too. That's what it sm looks like, really pretty. With the iridescent glitter on it. Let's put it back in the bag. I do smell the pine and then I think something else. Whatever the Lulu Bell is, I think. Really nice. This is definitely going to be a holiday scent for me. And I am starting to, 
to look at accumulating my holiday scents. Okay, the next souffle, Lululemon. And this is, obviously I went out on a limb on a few of these. Because if you've been watching me since I first started, we have figured out that I, I bakery fruit. This one has clothespins, dewberries, Meyer lemons, and a hint of vanilla mint. I'm really down for everything but the clothespins. So let's see. And I know clothespins is insanely um, popular with people. Hmm. I don't know what dewberries are. Gosh, my eyes are bugging me today. I like it. Hmm. I'll, I'll be honest, when I saw clothespins, I was like, oh, I don't know. Oh, that is really nice. I do smell the hint of the Meyer lemon. I love Meyer lemons. Um, don't think I smell vanilla mint. Mm -mm. And then whatever this clothespins is, I might have to try another uh, scent that has clothespins in it because I kind of like it. That's really nice. I'm almost thinking I need to put a warmer in my laundry room, somehow figure out how to put a warmer in my laundry room. All right, gotta get this. She um, included all this, which is nice. So it's um, <sighs> recyclable, that's the word. All right, this one, snow, what was it? Snowflakes and gumdrops. So vanilla snowflakes, Bath and Body Works blended with raspberry sugar and it says sweet like candy. Hmm. Not sure. It's pretty. Looks like it might be in a double container, but see, it's pretty. I definitely smell the raspberry in it. Um, the gumdrops, I wonder what they can, snowflakes and gumdrops. Maybe the gumdrops is what they consider the raspberry sugar. And then the vanilla snowflake bath and body, or BBW, which I'm assuming is a bath and body works. It's different, um, but I like it. It's different though. Um, I definitely smell the raspberry. Okay, the next one. I got this one based on your guys' recommendations too, which is Be Crazy. And it's birthday cake, pecan waffles, sugar cookie dough, and a pinch of cinnamon spiced vanilla. So I'm not a huge nut person. I don't eat nuts in, in person or in, for, for real, I don't eat nuts. I don't like them. Uh, so let's see what we think. Yeah, I definitely smell the pecans really pretty pecan waffles so I definitely smell pecans I mean that is definitely the most forward um, scent that I smell maybe a hint of the birthday cake and stuff but the first thing right off the bat I smell is the pecans so we'll see what I think about that when I warm it blueberry cheesecake waffles Blueberries, creamy cheesecake, butter pecan waffles, and maple syrup. I found that I don't particularly care for maple syrup. So we shall see. Um, definitely first thing I smell is blueberries. It's a little bit smushed just from transit, but isn't that pretty? It's almost like a... I'm trying to think of the color. See... A baby, no, like a seafoam green or something like that. It's really pretty. And the scent is beautiful. I love blueberry. That's really nice. And I don't get any of that sour note. I know sometimes when it comes to a, a, a cheesecake note, it can be, smell a bit like sour milk. I've had a couple scents that I've smelled that definitely smell like sour milk. And I don't smell any sour milk in this. And then I almost... I think I smell like a cinnamony. I wonder if that is the pumpkin, the pumpkin, butter pecan waffles. 
Maybe it has a hint of like a cinnamon in it. All right, so that's all I have for souffles. The next things I got were these, I don't know, chunk bags or whatever they're called. Uh, this one is pistachio berry crostata. This one was fairly recently poured, 627. This is raspberry jam, pistachio ice cream, and fresh baked bread. So I'm, I have figured out that I'm not real keen on pistachio ice cream. It's a bit sweet for me, but I'm always willing to try. And remember, I ordered these way back at the beginning of my venture into vendor wax. Yeah, I can definitely smell um, the pistachio. I mean, it's okay. I don't smell rose jam, but I do smell the fresh baked bread. I mean, it's okay. I like bread scents, so I'm gonna give it a go. I'll, you know, obviously try just a little piece of it and see what I think of it. Um, just not being a huge pistachio person, um, we'll see if I end up liking it. Next one, Sweetheart Cookies. And this is pink sugar, frosted sugar cookies, shortbread, birthday cake, and sweet, sweet milk. So we'll see what we think of sweet milk. I smelled another sweet milk before I didn't like it all. Yeah, this one's a little different. Uh, I'm not sure I can smell the pink sugar. Frosted sugar cookies. It's kind of, I want to tell you, it's kind of a funky color. Look at that. It's like a pistachio green. Yeah, it's kind of a different color for sure. But it's okay. Uh, I hope I end up liking it. it it's different. I am such a, a bakery person. I'm surprised. I don't, I'm not like, whoo, but we'll see. We'll see about that. Next one, homemade memories. This is Rice Krispie Treats, Vanilla Frosting, and Cake Pops. So I should like this one. And I do pour it 625. I think the, the first thing I'm smelling is the vanilla frosting. I'm not sure I've ever had Rice Krispie Treats before. So that might be the kind of that marshmallowy note that I'm smelling and then the cake pops. It's really nice. I like it. It doesn't seem like real strong in any one particular thing, but it might be that that's going to be a really good vanilla blender for me. Okay, next one is cranberry mimosa. This is tangerine rem tangerine mimosa blended with cranberry chutney. Let's see what we've got. Oh, that's beautiful. I love a, the smell of a good tangerine. Because the nice thing I like about tangerine is it's um, more tangy, tart, crisp, has more of a bite than like an orange. So, oh, that is really nice. And then you can smell that, come to that back scent of the cranberry chutney. Oh, I like that. Next one, blueberry vanilla circus cookies. Another really fun, interesting color. It has kind of a hint of blue to it. So it's blueberry, uh, blueberries, vanilla, and sugar crystals blended with our frosted circus sugar cookies. Ooh, I love the smell of blueberry. Actually, through my house yesterday, I in my crock right now, I have... Oh, what is it? Blueberry biscotti going in my crock in my, and I move my crock from the bathroom to the kitchen um, to kind of boost up the scent in there because, you know, it's where I cook and those kinds of things. And I have a very small house. So my kitchen's kind of a postage stamp and um, it's nice having that, you know, additional um, extra little scent in there. And so I had that and I'm like, I just want to smell blueberry today. So I put blueberry throughout all my warmers. It was awesome. Oh, that is really, really nice. You you get that blueberry and then you get that sugary vanilla cookie. Oh, delicious. I have two more of these. All right, Christmas Macchiato. And this is fresh pine 
buttercream, vanilla waffle cone, espresso, and vanilla ice cream. So we'll see which container. I have a Christmas container and then I have a coffee container. So, and I think that's where this Balsam Beach is gonna go. I am gonna have to order some of that though. That was, that was really nice. Come on. Her, I'm assuming her wax is fairly soft. Cause the, see the bags are, I don't know if you can see it, but they're kind of squidgy. And they look kind of smashed and stuff. I love a soft wax cause it's a lot easier to cut. There's one vendor that cutting up loaves is so difficult. They just, it, it's hard. It's a definite microwave for a little, you know, 20, 30, 40 seconds, whatever it is to cut loaves. Oh, this is definitely going in my Christmas bin. The fresh pine, oh, it's beautiful. I don't even think I smell any, well, okay. So I smell the fresh pine, boom, straight away. And then it's, but it's almost like this light. It's not this like slap you in the face pine tree scent. It's smooth and sweet and I don't smell espresso. Is that espresso? Yeah, I don't smell espresso at all. Oh, that's beautiful. I love it. I'm getting so excited for the Christmas season when I can start milling, melting all my, my pine and all those kinds. All right, this is the last one of these. Do you guys know what it is? It is some funky colors. This is Frankish Princess. And I ordered this one because what I'd been seeing coasted. So it's patisserie, which is warm donuts, baked bread, powdered sugar, and a touch of spice blended with blackberry butter. Oh, blended with blackberry butter pecan cookies butter pecan waffles, blackberry jam, and butter cookies. So lots of good stuff. And then I don't know if that's just a couple notes like patisserie and blackberry butter pecan cookies, if those are the two oils blended together. Okay. Oh, that's beautiful. I'm gonna have a dirty nose, I think. I smell the blackberry for sure. To me, okay, so it is lovely, I love it. To me, it just smells like a nice, good blackberry bakery. Just a gen like a generic bakery. It's not like, um, what am I trying, it's not like a sugar cookie. It's not like a, a muffin. It's not waffles. It's, it's this like conglomeration of all these sweet, beautiful bakery scents with blackberries. That's what it smells like to me. Oh, I could almost hint, uh, get a hint of that sugar cookie as I pulled it away that time. All right, so that's what I got in these, these big chunk guys. All right, and then I have three loaves and my box is empty. All righty, you ready? I'm so ready for this. So the first one is called Mosaic. And this is sweet raspberries, sugar cookies, and rich peach cobbler. Oh, that sounds so good. I, I can't tell the size. These almost look like they're a little bit smaller than maybe some other vendors. I'm not sure. Um, I'm not a big loaf person. I have found out I don't like cutting. Um, I much prefer, you know, just getting out. This is my little chopper I use and just cutting one of these or something. I have found that that's what I prefer, but I will, you know, chop up. I'm not the best chopper. I mean, look at this bag. Just, you know, that's in my melting basket. It's just a bunch of mismatched sizes. It's a good thing I'm not baking. Would not be very good at making sure all my stuff was the right size when you go to fry it, right? All right. Oh, definitely peach cobbler with that hint of, of fresh raspberries. And it's not like a tart, tangy, biting raspberry. It's just this sweet, almost like a raspberry syrup. You know that like maybe a raspberry syrup you pour over your, your waffles or pancakes or something. I think they're just one solid color. Yeah, one solid color. But it has those pretty, you know, drizzles. I like how she does the drizzles. I think that's pretty cool. 
yes, definitely like, it's like a pink raspberry, maybe like a pink raspberry drink, maybe a mixed drink or something. Oh, that's nice. Nice, nice, nice. I love it. Okay, next one. I got this one because I heard so many people talk about it. It's Summer Circus Cookies. And this one is Strawberry Pound Cake blended with Lemon Circus Cookies. Or Frosted Lemon Circus Cookies. Now, I'm not a huge strawberry person. So, let's see. I haven't exactly figured out which strawberry it is I like and I don't like. So... Oh, that's nice because I get the strawberry pound cake, but real light. And then I get that lemon circus cookie. And I love a good lemon. Oh, this, okay, this reminds me of concentrated strawberry lemonade that, you know, it has the little lemon bits in it and you scoop it out of, you know, in the freezer section. That concentrated strawberry lemonade and then you, you know, thaw it and then you make, strawberry lemonade. That's kind of what it's reminding me of. It's it's not that that strong lemonade kind of bite, but it it just reminds me of that that scent. Oh, that is really good. And then you get like that back part of the pound cake and almost like a sugary cookiness. Oh. I am so in love with these scents. Finally, my last one, and I love the coloring on this one, Coffee Bean a la Mode. I, and I love coffee. Actually, I have coffee going throughout the house today, and I was a little disappointed. I wasn't really smelling it, so I had to enhance it a touch with um, a stronger coffee scent. And with, because it's like a, it's one of those coffee mixes with a bakery, and it just wasn't strong enough coffee, so I put in some straight coffee in there, too. So this one is Coffee Bean Ice Cream vanilla waffle cone, whipped cream, and caramel. It's gonna be so good. <sighs> Guys, you need to get, if you like coffee, you gotta get this. Oh my gosh, yes. Oh, beaut, whatever her coffee bean ice cream is, Oh, and honestly, to me, it could even be a touch heavier in the coffee because it's so creamy and it, it's not astringent. It's not skunky. Sometimes I know when I brew coffee, it almost takes on like this skunky scent and I drink coffee. This is just, just creaminess to this. It's, oh, I could seriously keep my nose in this all day. I am glad I, I waited for this to be last. It is so good, guys. I think, I mean, I love everything, but I think by far this is my favorite. Oh, and it was poured 522. Yes, I can warm this. I'll probably end up chopping this all up today because I like just getting my, my chopping all done at one time. So to me, this was really large. I don't usually, well, there's a couple of vendors I've ordered this large. Or larger. <laughs> um, I love it. I love this stuff. Um, I'm trying to think. Teddy Bees might be having a pre-order. They might be having an RTS. Uh, check them out. Thirsty. Check them out. They are so good. I definitely want to try more of her circus cookie blend. I think. I definitely want to try more of this. Um, I want to see about maybe some more holiday scents. I'm not a huge pumpkin pecan waffle person, but I want to try it in a couple different vendors and see what I think about that. Uh, I want to see if I can find maybe some more peach because, you know, Tim likes peach. And this, heaven. Absolute heaven. Love it, love it. I'm very excited for this order. I'm excited to get these cut up. Um, get them put away if I can find room. Um, wow. Wow. Worth the wait. Worth the wait. Now I understand some people are like, oh, it's a fast turnaround time, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But when this is your first order and it's like eight or nine weeks, you're like, I just want my wax. Anyway, that's how I felt. And I have it now. So very stoked. 
very excited that I can probably melt most of this immediately. That makes me very, very, very happy. So thanks for hanging out with me. Sorry, this video is a little longer than I usually like to do, but it's a big order and a brand new vendor for me. And I am very excited. I have no doubt I will be ordering from Teddy Bees again because I have to get, I have to get this Balsam Beach. This it's so good, guys. Mm. This is why I'm a huge proponent of samples. And, and I know that I've had a couple that don't send samples. And this is why you send samples. Because this will make me buy this. Um, there, I got a sample from another vendor. And because of that sample, I, I have ordered many more times. I think samples... Samples are the way to go. Because would I have probably got something with vanilla uh, balsam in it? No, I know I wouldn't have gotten anything with um, with the ocean driftwood. I just know I wouldn't have. It's not my wheelhouse, but this is beautiful. Beautiful, soft, it's not, well, it's not soft, but, oh, it's gotta be that vanilla balsam. Now it makes me wonder what Bath and Body Works vanilla balsam smells like. I love it absolutely love it and I will be ordering again. So thanks for hanging out with me a little long today, but I will see you in my next installment of <laughs> what did I haul? Because I've got some more coming. Not for a little bit, but anyway, thanks guys. Bye.